I always knew I was female. You don't just wake up one day and decide to be male or female, you just know. This season, especially when I came out, it was really interesting for me because I kind of thought people would be more shook by it. And then I would show up to shows and the casting director would come up to me and be like, wow, Teddy, that was such a powerful story that you shared. Thank you for sharing it. Okay, there's uh, three hours before the show. Can you please get into hair and makeup? I didn't know a single transgender person. So I just kind of thought I was crazy. I knew I felt this way, but I didn't have the tools. And nobody had explained to me that being transgender was even an option. This is a real issue. It's something that deserves to be spoken about because the safest thing for a trans person to do is to know about their trans identity. I was really scared during the daytime that people were going to be physically violent to me because people would. And I just wanted to go outside and like be normal and like breathe fresh air. So I would go and walk around at like midnight. Going outside, I remember my mom caught me one time. I had to explain to her why. I told her I was just like, my don't feel comfortable living as a male. I just was so relieved when she said, okay, we have to do something about this. Even though she didn't understand it, she could see in my face and in my eyes the urgency. I remember I had this one teacher who came up to me and he was like, Teddy, do you want me to call you she? And it was the first time ever in my life anybody had ever asked me what I wanted to be called. It's very strange to feel one way your whole life and not be able to identify that way. In the transgender community, I have what's called passing privilege. And what passing privilege is, is the ability to walk outside and to appear as cisgender to the rest of the world. That allows transgender women to be and feel safe. That's a privilege that I have because I got on estrogen when I was 17 years old. And a lot of people aren't in those same positions of safety and don't feel comfortable or don't have those resources. I have so much more work to do and I have so much more to learn about my community. But I was told my whole life that my community wasn't a valid one, so I never felt like I needed to ed educate myself on it. I kind of got to this point where I was like, I, I was like, am I feeling ashamed even after I've come out as trans about being trans? The transgender piece in me will always be with me despite everything else. And there's nothing I can do to change it. And if there's nothing that I can do to change it, then isn't it worth accepting?